What's up you guys, it's Charles for Techies here, and today I'm going to show you a quick plugin called Optical Flares for After Effects CS5, so stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is simply open After Effects CS5, or you could use CS4, or whatever you guys have. And sorry if I keep looking down here, it's just that I have my computer down here, so I'm obviously trying to work on it. And if you noticed, I got a new camera, I got the Canon EOS 60D. Um, it's a great camera, I give it 100% credit. I love it. It's better than this eyesight right here. So, um, it's a great buy. Um, if you have enough money, just save up and just go and get it. It's it's great for if you're a YouTuber or you just want to get some nice solid um video and photos out of it. Okay, so once After Effects is open, you want to go to uh, right click, do import, and click file. So now my file is gonna be in. Where is that file? Okay. Sorry about this. I should have had this, had this um, done earlier. So let's say I just want to do this one. Click open. So once you open your file or movie, you want to drag it to the timeline down here. And once you have it, you could just press the space bar to just play it quickly and just render it. And now that you've done that, if you if you've sorry if you've successfully um, downloaded Optical Flares to, um, the plugin to to After Effects, you should go to Effect Video Copilot and then click Optical Flares. And I also did a Twitch plugin, and if you want to see that, um, just click right down here. Okay, so um, now that you've opened the Optical Flares preset, um, what you want to do is um, sorry, you want to um, <clears throat> go to this um, this dialog box will come up and in this motion blur for render mode you want to just do over original and what this does is it's um, it's naturally going to be on black but you want to do over original so it's over whatever is under it and um, you just have some basic tools and stuff you can change the brightness of it and you could obviously that you can obviously see that you know over time you know it'll get brighter and you could do the rotation offset you can make some cool effects with that and you could do a color mode you can do tint and multiply and you could also change the color which is really cool I really like this part of it so you could use this eyedropper tool and it's also a live view mode so it works really good I give it a thumbs up and for the source type I'm just gonna do um, 2d just keep it simple okay so now we're gonna do some whoops so now we're gonna do some really cool effects and so you can use this up uh, uh, position X and Y to change um, the position of the light streak or whatever you guys have and for the center position you could do the same thing as well um, for the for, for where you want like the lens um, shadow to be so I'm gonna put it right in the bottom right hand corner it creates a really cool effect with that and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go about you know a hundred frames in and I'm gonna whoops first you have to go all the way back to the first frame sorry and you wanna um, just keyframe everything that you're gonna change in the future. So I'm gonna change the scale. I'm gonna change probably the position of X and Y, the center position, um, and that's that. Yeah, that's it. And so now that you've done that, um, just keep in mind that you've keyframed position X, Y, center position, and scale. So now if you go 100 frames in, or however um, many frames you want, you can just change the position the position of X and Y. So I'm going to keep it just right over his eye. I'm going to change the um, center position um, of this lens right here. And sorry, I'm just I want to get this right. And for the scale, I just want it I want it to increase a bit. And so now that you've done that, um, you can see that you know it creates this really cool effect. And um, I'm also going to go back to the first frame. I'm gonna, whoops. I'm going to go back to the first frame and I'm going to keyframe rotation offset and I'm going to go back to that 100 frames in and I'm going to change that rotation offset so that it creates a cool spinning look. So now if I go back to the beginning, you can see that it creates a cool spinning look. It's almost like sci-fi, um, spacey. And you know, I, I really love this pro program. Um, I'm sorry, a plugin. I know I say that a lot, but I really do. Um, it's great for anyone if you're creating videos or especially sci-fi videos. It's just, it's spot on. It, it, oh, I'm sorry. It creates all the keyframes and it allows you to do so much mobility and so many um, changing of numbers and stuff within the plugin. Um, within the plugin, I give it a solid 9.5 out of 10. 
Um, I really, I don't even know anything that's um, really negative about it. Um, you could, what's awesome about it is that you can track the motion of the video itself, and then just have the have the light source um, uh, be keyframed with with something inside of the video that you've motion um, tracked. So I love it. I give it a solid thumbs up. And this is just a quick tutorial from TFT. And um, please like, subscribe. It really does help you guys. And just please comment. I need. I love to see your um, future uh, video tutorial ideas. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.